We are back. As you can tell here, uh, Beaky the Buzzard here. We've sanded him down real good, and I took the wood burner over him to give him some like feather details. Even though he's going to be painted black, I think it'll still give him a little bit of a extra element. I don't think we're going to actually going to put artificial feathers on him. I think that'll just take away from the look too much. But if I do, I'll certainly uh, video it for you guys. But we're ready to start uh, painting. So, we've already mixed up our, our flesh tone for the head. And it's only a few colors. Black for the body, orange for the beak and the feet. And, like I said, a flesh tone for the, the head. White for a little bit of the eyes, but his eyes are very droopy. Here, actually, I want to dull up that orange a little bit. Just a smidge. A little bit of black goes a long way, guys. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started then. What we're going to start with first, let's see. We're going to start with the feet first. Brush still want. Right there, that'll be good. And as always, using acrylics here. So depending on the look you want, is uh, how much water, how thin you're going to make your paint. trying to keep everything in focus and in view here. It was really good I took a, some time away from him because I was, like I said, I wouldn't, I have to be very passionate and be very intrigued by the idea of a wood carving to do my best work. And I wasn't super enthused to do him, but I just couldn't quit thinking about him is why I started him. And as y'all could tell in some of the other clips, it was really uh, hindering the, the work I was doing. So it took a couple weeks away from him, come back, and now we finished him. And he looks pretty doggone good, if I do say so myself. And he's just another fun, simple, silly carving, or character, I mean. to get new paintbrushes. Why are kids so rough on paintbrushes? We did some painting over spring break and they've just beat my brushes to death. And as y'all can see there, I always put a initials and the date on my carvings that I keep. I must make for other people too. I, I do the same thing, but I do it a little bit more discreet. Alright, one foot down. Captain, 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 Captain,
Another benefit of putting your paint on kind of thin is this wood is a very light color, so when you thin it out, it uh, gives a little extra hue to the paint. Or if it was a, a darker wood, it wouldn't have much of a effect. Well, I mean, it would darken the paint a little bit. Alright, well, since we're using our orange, let's go ahead and do the face. I'm going to detail the real, real fine areas first. Sand all those pin marks off, so just dab a little heavier paint on those areas. between and under the eyes. parts, the uh, well, delicate parts. the mouth. Darn it. I'll fix that later. Let it dry and then we'll go back over it with what we actually want to paint the inside of the mouth. There, Beaky. Yes. Come, Congress. Have a light, George. Oh, missed a few spots on the feet. That's the ticket. Good. 
which is just really simple. It's black. Now to hopefully get the wood burn feather look to show up, we're going to keep our black very thin. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know how we achieve that, if you go back to my uh, hummingbird carving video, it'll show exactly uh, how we did that. And because I've already done it before is why I didn't show it in this one. I don't like this brush. Let's change brushes. Now remember not to get your paint too thin when you're getting up around the feet here, otherwise you're going to have your paint really runny and it's going to bleed over. I'm trying to make sure things in the camera angle, so hopefully everything's going good. I haven't even checked any of the clips yet, so that's probably a big mistake on my part. Getting in all the undercarriage here. I have to get my smaller brush to really fine detail around those ankles.
really starting to come together. Yeah, isn't that the most fun part about painting? You take the carving and then it's really light colored. You're putting details in but you're not really sure how they're gonna show up and forget to create what it's even supposed to look like and then you start putting the paint on and just bam it starts to pop. At least that's how it feels for me. I should have saved both wings for very last so I actually had something to keep a hold of. But I will. Yeah, I don't I'm sure it's not picking up on the camera, but where we did the wood burning feather details, it's really showing uh through the black nice. So I'm glad I decided to do that. Just adds a little extra detail to our little cartoon character here. black all over me. Trying to get down to some of these rough spots there. There we go. finished guys I even would burn his uh his eyebrows on there to help with his expression so I'm gonna use my real small brush y'all are gonna probably hate how long this one takes because the brush is just so tiny but you have some areas that just require it Now I was going for a flesh tone on the head, but I left it pretty much almost like a, a pink color. A very light pink. Just because I thought it would uh, look a lot closer to how he does in the little cartoons. Biggest thing is to get his eyes right. Because his eyes are very droopy. Almost got a little neck collar there. I'm gonna paint that white. Okay. Register with Zola because your options are limitless. You just go to this one site. 
website, find everything you want. We have our honeymoon fund so that we can go anywhere we want. Let's create an amazing life together. Zola has so many gifts that we were really excited about. It's building our home and that's fun. And know that the customer service is right there when you need them. Join 500,000 couples who've registered with Zola. Sign up at Zola.com slash TV for $50 toward your registry. Zola, anything for love. I'm sure some of these angles guys are going to be tough for y'all to see because the camera is so crummy. But hopefully y'all are seeing everything. I said his eyes are really what gives him his a uh, specific look. And while we let the face dry, we're gonna do his little neck ruffle thing. I used the wood burner as well on his little neck ruffle here and just lightly singed some marks into it to give it a little extra dimension. toe off. It's holding this a little too hard. Darn it. And just when everything was going perfect. Now well it's not broke completely off so I will finish what we're doing here before I try and fix it. Get on the black we just painted. Let's get a tiny hint of black. Go over it. Should be good as new. Like 
almost a little orange here on his beak. Okay. Now I guess let's come up to his eyes. is all jacked up. There we go there. Now we have to let that dry and uh, we can dot his pupils. I'm just blowing on it a little bit so I can dry faster. tip of the brush and we're just gonna dab it somewhat large people so Excuse me if the camera angle gets bad for a second. I don't think his uh, eyebrows are showing through enough, so I'm going to do my best here to try and accentuate them. Here's a uh, no. We I thought we were done. We gotta finish his mail.
And there we go. With Expedia, you can book a flight, hotel, car, and activity all in one place. All right, actually, let's see if we can't get his eyes just a little bit more low. I don't know if that black is dry yet, though. This is one blade from Philips Norelco. A blade for beards and snubble. Shape and shave any length and be your best you with one blade from Philips Norelco. Innovation in you. Philips Norelco. When out with friends, you could tell the truth or a better version of it. Just ask Dos Equis, the only beer to serve at the Battle of Cinco de Mayo. Dos Equis. Keep it in your sante. That one's better. So let's try and do this one. Steady my hand here a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. Spot we didn't touch up all the way. When you carry out, some things are out of your control. But with Domino's new carry out insurance, we'll replace all right, your pizza there we go. after you leave the store. Carry out large three topping pizzas for $7.99 every day. Move this out of the way. Let me see if I can't get you all a little better view. 